Fighters like to touch gloves before the match starts. It's considered a traditional way of giving sportsmanship, honor, and respect to the opponents in the ring. We can call it a handshake done while wearing gloves. Here, you'll be surprised to know there are two types of fighters, one of those who touch the gloves before the fight in front of the match referee. Here, the referee asks them to touch their gloves if they're interested in doing so. This tradition is very common in fights. While other fighters love to touch their gloves during the match, once it's started, it looks more value-added before than the first glove touch because here is no referee giving fighters the instructions and asking them to touch their gloves. So, it looks like the genuine way of giving respect and honor from a fighter to his opponent. Once the fighters have touched the gloves during a fight, they can get again into the match. In today's video, you'll be looking at 10 fighters who didn't have to wait too long to regret not showing respect for their opponent by touching gloves before the fight started. You're going to see that some just didn't do it at the face-off to others that use it as a weapon by taking the glove touch to catch their opponent off balance, but in the end, they all failed. They ended up looking pretty dumb. If you enjoy our today's episode at the end, please give us a like and subscribe down below and make sure to turn on the notifications. Let's get started. Number 10. Takanri Gomi vs. Ralph Gracie In 2004, Takanri Gomi was fighting against Ralph Gracie during the Pride Bushido 3. Gracie came to the face-off looking like a homicidal maniac, staring at Gomi like he was going to eat him. Gomi just looked relaxed and went for the glove touch, but Gracie did not accept it, which just made Gomi mad. You can also see Gomi's facial expressions change as soon as he got disrespected that he just stepped back. He was ready to attack. Gracie went for the takedown immediately, but Gomi threw a kick which ended up kneeing Gracie right in the face, basically knocking him out. He then delivered more knees once on the ground which were harsh. It showed his anger that he should not disrespect his opponent by not touching gloves. Number 9. Nadia Kassim vs. Ji Young Kim At UFC 23, Nadia Kassim was challenging Ji Young Kim. While receiving their instructions, Kassim decided to do something even worse than not touching gloves. This son of a gun faked glove touches to start the fight and went for a kick to the body. She is the one that initiated the glove touch which made Kim drop her guard completely. As soon as she got kicked, you can see that she was just thinking, okay, then you want to play it that way. And in the very next exchange, she got her back. That was a perfect time to put her down on the ground. Then, later towards the end of the second round, Kim got the outright win via technical knockout. Number 8. Cody Garbrandt vs. TJ Dillashaw Cody Garbrandt has a dislikable personality. So, when he did this against TJ Dillashaw, it was not that big of a surprise, but there was some hate between these two fighters, and it all culminated in their fight in 2017 at UFC 217. Dillashaw showed respect for his rival and put the gloves up, but Garbrandt just backed up and got ready for the actual fight where he would finally be able to shut up Dillashaw. In the second round, the opposite happened. As Garbrandt does quite a bit, he decided to trade shots with Dillashaw without any defense or head movement from either guy. Dillashaw just beat his opponent to the heavy punch that put him down. He did again a year later, but at that time he defeated his opponent in the first round. Let's not forget, Dillashaw turned out to be a cheater, so maybe these don't count. Number 7. Ronda Rousey vs. Holly Holm this is probably the fight that is the most famous in the UFC. Why am I saying this? Because this is where the downfall of one of the greatest fighters of all time took place. Ronda Rousey decided not to touch gloves with her opponent Holly Holm during the first fight at UFC 239. Ronda Rousey was a pretty big fighter during the entire promotion from the weigh-in face-off to the actual fight face-off. It rubbed people the wrong way. So. When Holly Holm was able to destroy her in the second round, a lot of people were pretty happy about it. We understand that you have to hype yourself up, 
but you look really mad if you do this entire act and end up losing in the end. Number 6. Eric Salva vs. Nordin Tilev Eric Salva was fighting against Nordin Tilev at UFC 196 when he decided to take one of the most blatant shots you'll ever see. This happened in the first round, and Eric Salva did manage to get a good left hook off the fake glove touch. I enjoyed that part where after he takes that cheap shot, he does that arm motion on Telev like he's saying, what are you going to do about it? Well, Telev showed him something in the second round. Eric got a lesson in instant karma a few minutes later in the second round. Number 5. Conor McGregor vs. Dennis Seaver Conor McGregor has a very intimidating and demeaning personality, and it made a lot of fighters very angry. For example, in 2015, he fought against Dennis Seaver. He did all these crazy movements during the fight face-off that would have made many fighters annoyed, and Seaver felt this when his opponent decided not to touch gloves. McGregor is an amazing fighter, so maybe he should not do anything that would make his opponent Dennis Seaver extra mad. As soon as Seaver did this, Connor flipped him off, and that was the end of poor Seaver. Of course, Connor put him down with that god gifted left hand and just climbed on top of him to put the finishing touches on this thorough beating. Number 4 Adam Fife vs. Alex Thorne Now we have this MMA fight between Adam Fife and Alex Thorne. Fife went in showing his glove for them to touch out of respect for each other, but then he got close and instead threw a straight left hand. Fife almost got the win as he was able to knock Thorne down, but somehow, Thorne got up from this and turned the fight around. Those were 25 seconds of pure madness, where Thorne was badly beaten by this cheating idiot and then he flipped the script. I can guarantee you that some of these punches in the end were done out of pure anger. Number 3. Unknown Fighters Not sure who are the fighters in this fight, but this has to be one of the quickest karma moments you'll ever see, very similar to Comey's win. I'm not going to lie, if I were the guy in the white, I would not have put my hand up for the glove touch because who the hell comes in that fast and is trying to show respect? Number 2. Quentin Klupepper vs. Aaron Rosenblum This was one of the best MMA fights between Quentin Klupepper and Aaron Rosenblum. Quentin wanted to touch the glove, but his opponent wasn't having any of it. So, he just started swinging on his opponent who still had his hand up. He got knocked out in just 4 seconds. This guy was ready to defend himself while his opponent was trying to show some respect. He still gets knocked out with a single punch. Number 1. Anderson Silva vs. Chris Weedman Anderson Silva shows respect during the actual fights. He touches gloves and bows down, but for some reason, he didn't do the glove touch against Chris Weedman, who extended his hand. This was a stunning beginning to one of the most stunning endings in MMA history, as Weedman was able to do this in the second round. Watching Spider Silva fight was one of the best things his opponents could witness in MMA, but it was almost shocking to see Silva beaten by his opponent in this game. I hope you enjoyed the video when the fighters regretted not touching gloves. For more interesting and fighting videos, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press that notification button. Goodbye.